As Almane walked home on a rainy day, he noticed Mahira sitting on a park swing without an umbrella. After some consideration, Almane offered his umbrella to Mahiru, which marked the first time they ever spoke to each other. Mahira declined the offer, but Almane insisted. However, before Mahira could express her gratitude, Almane hurried off. The next day, Almane caught a cold, which was pointed out by his friend Itsuki. Almane then revealed that he gave his umbrella to someone the previous day, but did not disclose the recipient's identity. While Mahira was chatting with some girls from their class, a couple of boys remarked on her angelic demeanor. Almane then listed Mahira's admirable qualities, and noted how most boys in their class were interested in dating her, except for himself. Itsuki joked about how life would be easier if he had a girlfriend, but Almane dismissed the idea. After finishing school, Almane heads back to his apartment complex and takes the elevator to his floor. To his surprise, he finds Mahira waiting for him at his doorstep, holding his umbrella. She wanted to return it in person, but Almane declines, feeling faint due to his cold. However, Mahiru insists on taking care of him, so Almane lets her in. Upon seeing the mess inside Almane's apartment, Mahira decides to clean it while Almane changes into fresh clothes. Later that night, Almane wakes up to find Mahira sitting beside him, having prepared rice porridge for him. Mahira refuses to feed him, stating it's not something she would do, and Almane eats the porridge himself. He compliments the delicious taste, but Mahiru humbly downplays it, saying it would taste the same no matter who prepared it. As Almane finished his rice porridge, he inquired why Mahiru was sitting on the swing during the rainy day. Almane assumed that she had a disagreement with her boyfriend, which Mahira quickly denied. Instead, she explained that she was trying to clear her head. Mahiru also apologized for Almane catching a cold because of her, but Almane dismissed it and expressed his enjoyment of spending time with her without any particular reason. However, he realized that they would become strangers again the following day. The next day, Mahira and Amane returned to their normal routines. However, that evening, Amane savored a jelly energy package on his balcony, which Mahira discovered. Upon finding out, she decided to offer him some leftovers. Amane eventually returned the box to Mahiru, but she insisted on giving him another box for dinner, and would continue to do so from then on. Amane asked Itsuki whether he looked unhealthy during a school day, and Itsuki jokingly replied that he did. However, Itsuki also noticed that Amane had developed more color in his face recently. Later that day, Amane bumped into Mahira at the local supermarket, and they had a short conversation. After finishing their shopping, Amane offered to carry Mahira's grocery bag home for her. The next day, Mahiru visited Amane, who was cleaning his apartment and nearly tripped while trying to open the door. Without hesitation, Mahira decided to help Amane clean his apartment with him. By the end of the day, they had finished cleaning, and Amane suggested they order a pizza. During their pizza dinner, Mahiru admitted that it was her first time having delivered pizza because her parents had always had a cook prepare her meals. They also had a deep conversation about Mahira's behavior at school. Before leaving, Amane asked Mahira why she gave him her leftovers every day for dinner, and she explained that it was for her own satisfaction. This event marked the beginning of an unusual relationship between the two of them. One evening, Amane discovers Mahira looking sad at the park and learns that she tried to rescue a cat stuck on a tree. He realizes she's hurt and goes to get some medical supplies to treat her sprained ankle. Amane then lends her his sweater, so she wouldn't be recognized as he carries her home. The following day at school, Itsuki comments on Amane wearing shorts for gym class, but Amane ignores the remark. They come across Yuta, who is called Prince, by the girls, and Amane notices Mahira nearby. In the evening, Mahira returns Amane's sweater and brings a new food box for him. They engage in a heartfelt conversation about their popularity at school, particularly regarding Yuta. Eventually, 
They start discussing the meal that Mahir made, and Amane expresses his desire to try freshly made karak. To this, Mahira proposes that she could cook for him if he pays for half the preparation cost, and Amane agrees. The next day, Mahira cooks a meal for Amane at his apartment, and they both enjoy it together. Amane then proceeds to wash the dishes while Mahira dries them, and Mahiru offers to cook for Amane from then on. Amane accepts the offer with a shy smile. During a conversation at school, Itsuki suggests to Amane that he should find a girlfriend. However, Amane disagrees with the idea. Itsuki's girlfriend, Chi, also joins in and expresses her desire for Amane to have a girlfriend so they could be friends. Amane is hesitant due to Chi's clingy nature. Later that day, Amane finishes washing dishes in his apartment while Mahira grades her math prep test. Mahira reveals that she has to maintain her perfect grades, but doesn't disclose the reason why. As Mahira leaves, she accidentally drops her student ID, which Amane picks up and notices that her birthday is coming up in a few days. On another day, Amane asks Mahiru if she wants anything in particular as she prepares dinner, which confuses her. But she eventually answers that she would like a sharpening stone with a finer grit. At school, Amane consults Itsuki for gift ideas for a girl, and he suggests hand cream. Later, she joins in and suggests candy, a handkerchief, or a small bag as possible gift for a girl. She also suggests a small trinket, but settles for a stuffed animal. Uncomfortable with purchasing a stuffed animal, Amane convinces Chi to accompany him to buy one. In exchange for a deluxe crepe, Chi agrees to go with him. Later, as Mahira reads a book on Amane's couch, he presents her with a gift bag containing hand cream and a stuffed teddy bear for her birthday. Although Mahira was a little upset that Amane learned about her birthday from her student ID card, she appreciated the gift of the teddy bear. Out of the blue, Shihoko, Amane's mother, pays her son an unexpected visit and barges her way into his apartment. Shihoko is impressed by how clean Amane's apartment is and how clear his skin looks. Before Shihoko arrived, Amane had instructed Mahiru to hide in his room, hoping to avoid his mother's intrusion. However, Shihoko spots dishes for two people in this trainer and barges into Amane's room despite his protests. She finds Mahiru there and deduces that she must be Amane's girlfriend. Shyly, Mahiru introduces herself to Shihoko, who reciprocates and concludes that Mahiru is either in a relationship or in the process of starting one with Amane. Mahiru explains that she only cooks for Amane, but Shihoko thanks her for supporting her son. This prompts Amane to admit that his mother can be stubborn in situations like this. Later on, Shihoko demands an explanation from Amane and Mahiru about their relationship. When she learns that they are neighbors, she sees it as fate and shares some tidbits about Amane. Amane becomes upset and asks his mother to leave, but not before she exchanges contact information with Mahiru. Amane apologizes for his mother's behavior, but Mahiru brushes it off and compliments her. Amane, however, speaks ill of his mother, while Mahiru continues to hold her in high regard. They have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and promise to start addressing each other by their first names in public. Mahira tries to return Amane's spare key, but he allows her to keep it for a while longer, leading to a brief argument that ends with Mahiru agreeing to borrow it. At school, Amane plays 21st in the second term finals test while Mahira plays first. Wanting to celebrate the occasion, Amane buys Mahiru a strawberry shortcake that she later finds in his fridge. As they enjoy the cake, Mahira feeds a piece to Amane who reciprocates the gesture. On another day, Amane decides to go food shopping to practice his cooking skills. While returning to his apartment complex, he runs into Mahiru by the elevator. During the write-up, Amane expresses his desire to cook for himself and Mahiru offers to supervise. Under her guidance, Amane struggles to make an omelette and a vegetable dish. However, the omelette turns out bland, 
and Mahiru offers to demonstrate the difference by making one herself. She encourages Amane to keep trying and improve his skills. At school, Chitos attempts to persuade Amane to host a pizza party at his place, but he declines. Chitos then asks if he's spending time with his girlfriend, for whom he bought a stuffed animal, but Amane clarifies that it was for his neighbor, who sometimes helps him. Despite Amane's initial refusal, Chitos manages to convince him to host the party on Christmas Eve. Later, Amane asks Mahiru about her plans for the same day, and she informs him that she has none. Amane then shares his plans of hosting a party with Itsuki and Chitos. Mahiru understands the situation and promises not to interfere, and says that she's okay with spending the day alone. However, Amane feels guilty and offers to spend Christmas with her, to which Mahiru agrees, but on the condition that they play video games together. On Christmas Eve, Chitos and Itsuki enjoy a pizza party at Amane's apartment. When it starts snowing, they all run to the balcony and notice that Mahiro lives next door.